weren't taping it off, and Lieutenant Hall wants to handle it until he does his thing with it. Clear. Here. We, I, what, what I did was I, I cut the live stream off because we were talking to some eyewitnesses. What they were telling us uh, was that uh, I just saw a picture. What I just saw was a picture of gunmen, according to these eyewitnesses. These were people that worked at a local club. They showed me a picture of the. Uh, what I just uh, saw was a picture of gunmen. Of he was in handcuffs. Gunmen, according to the uh, sidewalk, and he was dead. Uh, so we ju that's these were eyewitnesses that we spoke to just a few minutes ago. Hebrew 113. The, uh, the, the gunman was dead. Hebrew 113. A man we saw uh, the figures were getting weighed down at the Evangel Church of God led by uh, Colin Kelly. But again, uh, these eyewitnesses just showed us a picture of who they said was the gunman. Uh, 
uh, wearing a hoodie. He had his handcuffs, uh, he had handcuffs, uh, so his hands were cuffed behind his back, and uh, he was uh, dead on the sidewalk, according to those club workers that we just talked to just a few minutes ago. That we just, according to those club workers that we just talked to just a few minutes ago. That we just reported. And this is not confirmed by police. This was just from those eyewitnesses. They were showing me pictures of a, of a woman who, who was dead. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we saw that. We also saw, uh, again, I'm going to reiterate this one more time for those of you who just now joined us. We saw, according to these club workers, one of them was a bouncer. Uh, they showed us a picture of what believed to have, they said, was the gunman. They said he, uh, we can see in the picture, this person had handcuffs on. They were on the sidewalk and uh, they were lifeless. Uh, they said that that was the gunman and that he was dead. Uh, we saw multiple pictures of some other victims. Unfortunately, uh, according to these eyewitnesses, uh, they were deceased. Uh, up here that's keeping the media back. We're back 
Looks like there's a media staging area over here. I'm actually going to move down over here so we can be closer to the media. Get at least one person here. A couple people being walked by police. We're going to make our way down here to the media staging area. We're a little closer with the rest of the media. Here, I'm calling you. Did they, uh, you have an apartment number? Or is it like a 15, 20 unit apartment building? You see this area, it's just got dozens of... Negative, it pinged to the corner of that intersection. Every jurisdiction within a 15 mile radius. I was talking with some people uh, from some local hospitals on the way down here, and they were telling me that they had people you know, as as far south as Kettering with, uh... Here, what they Currently, uh, we are Jack Shooter, the out on the wire with call and break. Go ahead. That airway call, Kelly, um, with everything that's going on, we'll take it if necessary. It's not really a priority. ...that they were still looking for a masked gunman carrying several magazines as well as a rifle, believed to be an AK-47. Yeah, Claire, what did it a new stolen vehicle. He's described as a heavy set large white male. Uh, we're at the intersection here of Fifth and Wayne. This is known as the. Why is it called in? Here in Dayton. It's a very popular place for nightlife. It might be a while. What uh, half the leaves? Uh, so if we want to go ahead and advise Dayton on RDC, that'd be great. Okay, you can see. Okay, you're fine. Thanks for the name. As I was saying, it's a very sensitive uh, scene out here. Um, it's going to be very difficult for us to get any eyewitnesses to talk to us because of the sensitive nature of the scene. Everyone's very emotional. We hear people shouting. Uh, I just, uh, a couple of guys over my shoulder here were shouting out. Uh, uh, and how, uh, he's saying, six, and Police are taking witnesses right now. They are taking them to a secure area where they can interview them. Uh, you can see one was just released there from being interviewed by that officer. Uh, other witnesses are still in the area here. You can see we've got at least one person being checked out there with his pants leg up. He's being checked out by EMS. It looks like he actually might be an EMS. No, he's a stat. Okay, so this is a, a, apparently a club worker. He's a staff on the back of his shirt. He has a leg injury. He's being checked out right now by EMS. You can see this live pictures here of the reported active shooter situation in Dayton, Ohio. You can see at least one person there with an apparent leg injury being checked out by EMS personnel at this time. We saw at least one officer walking through here with a rifle uh, on his back. 
you got more officers walking into the scene here. You see these officers right here just crossing the yellow line. They're headed in. We, we, the media, and the rest of the general public are being held back by this uh, typical uh, police crime scene tape that you see. They got the whole entire intersection blocked off here. Uh, we're still trying to learn at this time where the official center point of this scene is. We don't know the official actual location of where this started. Hey everyone, it's Brittany from Jamestown Place Health and Rehab. Staff, as far as Kettering Hospital, Miami Valley, all those hospitals have multiple patients. Thirty-five twenty-seven thousand zero three thirty-four.
unknown if that person, that, that suspect, when it came over the radio about 25 minutes ago, was still at large. Three, 
I'm dealing with something else right now. Okay, you see the command post here. It's the in queue position. Right there where those witnesses are being corrected. Got it. See that command post I showed you guys just a few seconds That's your location. It's getting into position now. Red peppers. Oh my hell, you can. For those of you just now joining us, we'll do a quick scene setter, and then we're going to reposition to the other side here. Uh, we're at the intersections of Fifth and Wayne in Dayton, where reported mass shooting came in just a little over an hour and a half, almost two hours ago. This is the Oregon District, a very popular uh, club district on the weekends. Uh, the initial preliminary reports were that 10 people were shot. At least three people the hospital now we're eating uh, for one. on the way here uh, were undergoing CPR. Uh, we spoke to local hospitals who said they had three people multiple the hospital now we're were eating. In by ambulance as far as fifteen miles away from here. Some were also walking in by private ambulance or excuse me, private vehicles. And uh, a very good indication uh, based on everything that we see out here that this investigation is going to take a very long time. Rangers are here. And we're just repositioning on the other side of this scene here so we can get you a different view. At this time, we have some investigative vehicles going to the scene down there. just about two hours ago. It's a very active scene right now. Police do have the tape up in the area. We are not able to go any closer here. We are at Fifth and Wayne. Dozens and dozens and dozens of police officers, multiple jurisdictions from around the county. This is Montgomery County, multiple jurisdictions are here. We saw the park rangers here. Kettering Police, Huber Heights, of course Dayton. This 
also the county sheriff. So what we heard just a little bit ago uh, when we arrived on scene a few minutes ago was that a suspect was still at large. They described him, and, and again, these are not confirmed reports by police. I want to stress that. These are not confirmed reports by police. This is what we were overhearing on the police radio as we were coming into the scene. We heard that the gunman was a heavyset male wearing a mask, carrying a rifle with multiple magazines for the rifle that he was carrying reportedly. And that was about uh, almost an hour ago now that we heard that come over the radio. We do not know the status of him. We do know that when we arrived on this scene, uh, they were still uh, dispatching officers in the area to look for somebody matching that description. But no word right now if that shooter is, excuse me, if that shooter is down, if he's in custody, if there's more than one shooter, police are still doing their investigation right now, and understandably so, they're not going to be talking to the media immediately. Uh, typically what we will do uh, in the news, ladies and gentlemen, is we will talk to eyewitnesses in the area, but this is such a sensitive scene right now, it's still very active, that the eyewitnesses are still in a line waiting to be interviewed by police in uh, a parking lot just on the other side of this tape. It's a little hard to see because of all the police lights, but they're still being interviewed by police. And as a result, we cannot interfere with that. We cannot go talk to these people to see if they have seen or heard anything or, or what they might have witnessed because the police themselves still has not had a chance to talk to these people. We just saw another ambulance pull up just a few minutes ago right there. They're going, they just uh, got back from transporting uh, someone to the hospital. We're going to go over there on stage. Green unit, need to assist her. Medics and firefighters, just on the other side of those two police officers. Of course, this is, you see here, one person. Hey, Hunter, do you have their crew continue it? Justin Patterson to pick up an uh, officer and take him downtown. Uh, three police officers. Three, yeah, I can meet you there. Uh, but they do have a rifle, uh, and they are walking uh, into the scene right now. Dude, what the Go fuck? Ahead. Where you at? Yeah, peppers. Oh, fuck. Hi, I'll see you down there. Dude, what the fuck? Anyone's guess. What the fuck? Uh, the Miami Valley North. Medic five chief for the second one. Thanks, if you want. See, people are still being interviewed by the nowhere to be down. So uh, they were presumably an employee in a nearby club. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Three fifty one. Here we're one fourteen and one fifteen are both in route to the suspicion at the True Hotel. Seven thousand executive. Three fifty two. Dude, what the fuck? What the fuck?
Okay, you can see at this time, see, I don't know if we can get any closer. At this time, you have eyewitnesses that are being... Hi, hi, Bob. Stand aside here, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to move a little closer here so you guys can get a better look on the other side. We send him down the five bob. What you have is you, you've got... Uh, police have brought in a public transit bus. We load up eyewitnesses and to take them... Them. Right there's that box. They've also opened up this uh, restaurant here, and they've got witnesses inside this restaurant here at the Dublin pub. We're at the intersection of Wayne and Fifth. You can see multiple people are out here being interviewed by police right now. This is the intersection of Wayne and Fifth. And you've got multiple police agencies here on scene. Uh, you see Kettington, uh, Highway Patrol, multiple others. Uh, you can see they've got the tape uh, up here that's keeping the media back. We're back. Looks like there's a media staging area over here. We're actually going to move down over here so we can be closer to the media. Get at least one person here. A couple people being walked by police. We're going to make our way down here to the media staging area. We're a little closer with the rest of the media. You see this area, it's just got dozens and dozens and dozens of law enforcement from uh, every jurisdiction within a 15 mile radius. I was talking with some people uh, from some local hospitals on the way down here, and they were telling me that they had people actually walking in as far south as Kettering with uh, uh, injuries from this uh, uh, mass shooting incident. We know that at least CPR is being conducted, or was being conducted on at least three people. We just, as we were pointing out to the scene here about 10 minutes ago, we heard some reports on the police radio that they were still looking for a masked gunman. Can we change my location to crew 463? We're in a okay. team. He is wearing a mask. He was described as a heavy set, large white male. Uh, we're at the intersection here of Fifth and Wayne. This is known as the Oregon District. It's a very popular place for nightlife. We're going to go over here and see if we can get maybe some eyewitnesses here. It's, it's a very sensitive situation out here, so I doubt... Okay, you can see here, here's a police officer walking with a, a rifle. As I was saying, it's a very sensitive uh, scene out here. Um, it's going to be very difficult for us to get any eyewitnesses to talk to us because of the sensitive nature of this scene. Everyone's very emotional. Right, five, two, second one. Just, uh, a couple of guys over my shoulder here were shouting about the rifle that the guy was using and how uh, he's still on the loose and how they hadn't found him. That's unconfirmed reports at this time. Uh, you can see here, police are still uh, standing around the area interviewing witnesses. You can see multiple personnel from EMS and fire standing there. We'll just do a quick scene setter for you here. 
the avenues of uh, 55th Street and Wayne Avenue.